Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Mega Man X Command mission video. And today we're going to look at the first secret boss, which you should be doing first, not the other one, is Duckbill Mole. So first of all, I must clean a little bit here. I'm going to talk about it in a video very quickly here. Um, I tried to use some time-saving techniques uh, in terms of a cheat off-screen, not on a video, uh, off-screen to just grind a little bit so you can get up to making another video for you guys, but uh, one of them won't turn off. So X going forward, unless you guys figure out a, a way, I researched and I dug for hours through Google searches and Reddit posts and stuff and nothing works to turn it off. So it is what it is, but with that being said, X is going to be the least impactful person on this team in regards to this boss fight anyways. He's going to do very little. So, Mole does almost all fire damage besides one one or two moves, I think. Mainly one move. Uh, so we're going to be equipping a lot of fire stuff on, uh, fire resistance. So we have fire guard, fire resist, and fire guard on the other one. So, for our weapons, we'll have... For him, Soul Saber is insanely OP, so Zero is going to be our main damage dealer. We also have Generator for more um, WE, Weapon Energy, and also Power Charge for being able to stack damage. For X, we have an uh, Ice Buster, MK2. Twin Ice, and uh, the last one doesn't matter that much. I just put this on just because I could. Um, and for Axel, you need Bait for sure. And... I found out that you can't get ice, uh, the twin ice until chapter 10. Uh, I never really paid attention in my other playthroughs, but ice muscle is still fine because you do, you'll still deal ice damage to them. And we have actual bullets too. So with that being said, let's get into it. So how you get the key, uh, you got to go through the deployment and do the Melda or plant enough times where you get the key. And once you get the key, you can go in, and it's right at the it's very it's right at the beginning of the level actually, which makes it very nice and simple and easy. So I highly advise making your investment and not really investment and invest your time into the deployment center as early as possible because it is very valuable, getting a lot of items, zenny, a lot of things like that. So we unlocked are at that door. You'll get yourself some figure tokens, fine, and you can go down. There's I don't believe there's any encounters going forward. If there are, oh well. Get yourselves this uh, meltdown here. And here's the boss. So make sure you are prepared. Make sure last ch checks. Make sure you're all fully healed, although you should have already been checked that before you got here. And I think level 30 is the best bet for you to get here. I think you can probably beat him before then, but you'll have a bit of a harder time. Um. And make sure you're focusing in one at a time. There will be two of them, even though it shows only one on the on the cutscene, uh, or just the map. But focus on one at a time. You don't want to. You want to. You don't want to split your damage between the two of them. So they'll sometimes they'll waste turns doing that, which will allow them to heat up. Uh, so if you are able to use cold attacks, you'll waste their turns basically. So just focus on one at a time, guys. In my opinion. Uh, they'll do more damage that way. I missed? That's interesting. We're doing pr pretty decent damage though, I gotta say. I can't believe the first attack missed, that's crazy. So this is the non-elemental attack that you can't really, you know, uh, do anything about. Kind of a long battle, but we can easily we can easily win. All right, so I'm pretty bad at this, but let's just go for some zero slashes. 
I messed up one of them. I messed up two of them, wow. I can't believe I messed up that many times. That's pretty sad. I don't usually do that badly. I did a test run before this even, it was fine. Doesn't matter that much. We'll be able to win. This is pretty easy, guys. I was hoping he was gonna heal himself. Whoops. Not a big deal. It really isn't. We don't want to feel fully because of Zero's um, Soul Saber. The less health he has, the more damage he'll do. But we don't want to. We don't want to heal. Oh, he used it on someone else. Okay. I've never seen. I've actually never seen in all my playthroughs ever him ever use that ability on anyone but himself. That's interesting. Pretty good strategy, you know the bait. Everybody, everybody who's played this game knows that strategy. But I kind of, I figured this out when even when I was a little kid, without looking at any guides or anything. I, I figured that out. It's a very neat strategy. Okay, let's see if we can do this here. We want to go to Silverhorn. Interesting that he used it on someone else as well. Yeah, they're not using it on them. They're not using it on themselves for once. That's interesting. Hopefully I don't screw it up this time. <laughs> I got nine in instead of eight. Ten thousand damage, pretty good. And he didn't heal clearly even close to enough. The amount of damage we just did. As you can see, clearly uh, zero is the damage dealer here. One shotted. <laughs> he got he got one shotted. Oh, that's great. All right, so when it's Axel's turn, we're gonna go ahead and build hyper. 
or gain hyper, not build, for himself. Casual 4,000 damage, by the way. I told you that Zero is going to be our main damage dealer here. Now that we only have one enemy to deal with, it's not going to be that big of a deal at all, guys. I know that I probably should be using the other moves, but Zero Slash is just so much easier for me. And I've always I've beaten the game and all the bosses without having to use any of his other combos before. So you do get a lot of you do get some things if you do his co other combos though. Just saying. But as I said, X is like the least damaging person on my team by far. Like Axel is doing more damage than him. But it's much more controlled now that we have only one enemy to worry about. He should waste a turn using healing himself, yep. He healed himself a thousand, that's that's actually pretty good, but not enough for he's gonna be taking you know, he's gonna probably gonna be taking twice, yeah, he's gonna be taking much more. He almost got one shot at there. He's almost dead. He's dead. He got bulldozed, literally. All right, so there's gonna be that. Everybody's alive, make sure everybody's alive before you beat the boss so you get all that XP. Pretty good. And of course, you'll get yourself absolute zero. Nice, now we have a way of beating Rafflesia in one turn. You need to beat her easily in one turn or else she becomes way too powerful. So the next part will probably be going into the main story and then we'll go back for Rafflesia because I want to be a little bit stronger first. But with at Plus Zero, it's much easier to be at Rafflesia than doing Rafflesia than Duck Bill Mole. It's just much easier doing it this way, so. All right, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Again, sorry for the X thing, but I'd rather come clean and then hide it from you guys, so. See you in the next video. Peace.